drink in the new animation. Okay, I love it. Only when Dean's here are we allowed to use That's it. That's right. Actually, I think we'll use it other times, too. But we're glad he's here because it is time for some more Space News! Yes, and this we morning we are joined by our friend, the aforementioned astronomer, Dean Rigas. Good yeah. morning, Dean. And Dean, Hi, morning, morning. so we're going to talk about some of the, the out-of-this-world headlines right now. But before we even get into that, let, let's talk about just kind of coming down from the high that was the eclipse. Oh, man, I am still kind of thinking about that Monday afternoon where the total eclipse happened. Uh, there I am at uh, Wapakoneta, Ohio, uh, Neil Armstrong Museum, where Neil Armstrong was born. And uh, it was just incredible. As the sun uh, was slowly blocked by the moon, it was really, really cool. And then totality happened. Uh, this is a picture I took during that. So cool. And I was so happy that so many people got to see that because it was clear in Ohio, it was clear the in Indiana. The weather really lined the up, didn't it? The weather was really perfect for it. So I've heard so many people got to see that and experience it. And uh, a lot of people said, you know, it was better than even I described it. Because I, when I describe it, people think that I'm crazy. They right. think Correct. Like, they Correct. think I'm off the rails about this, but then they see it and they're like, that was even better than what you said. Yeah. Well, and one of the things we, we kept trying to stress to people was something that you told us was, look, 99.8% sounds great. Sounds close enough. But it, 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 it wasn't. You had to be there. And I'm so glad that you encouraged us to, do, to go to 100% totality, because I did. I went to Harrison, Ohio, and took my son, and he was kind of complaining on the way there. Like, wait, we have to drive. It's traffic. And then we got there, and he's like, oh, yeah. that is the coolest two minutes. Yeah. Like, I was so glad that we were there. Yeah, we, we were we in Osgoode, it. Indiana, yeah. and my, my older brother came out. And he is he's not always impressed by stuff. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and so I've got... I've got video and you can just kind of hear him in the background. I'm like, that that sort of says it all, yeah. you know? Yeah, I think it's the people's reaction to it that helps. I mean, I was yeah. surrounded by, there were 10,000 people at the Armstrong Museum and they just erupt in this like cheer. Yep. And uh, uh, you know, for the whole four minutes, people were just yelling, yes. going crazy. I was hearing people crying. Yeah. I mean, it just really is moving. So I hope that people like come back from that and are really getting into space stuff because there's so much to learn up there. Uh, so Every day, you, know, you can find something new going on in space. Well, speaking of which, let's let's get into it because there are, like you said, something every day. So let's talk about. We've mentioned this before. The Devil's Comet. Yeah, what's, what's happening that? with that? What's that? Yeah, so the Devil's Comet uh, definitely was something that kind of went around the internet because a few months ago, astronomers took some pictures of it and looked like this comet. It's sprouted horns off the side of it. So <laughs> this is a very, very faint comet with a great ad campaign. I mean, uh, so <laughs> if, you're, if you're That's expecting good. like an awesome comet and like, you know, fire and brimstone coming up in the sky, you're going to be disappointed. It's not even visible to the naked eye. Um, so it is one of those things where it's like, cool, if you have a telescope, you know where to look. Uh, I, I'd say just go with what uh, some of the astrophotographers are getting, some of the cool pictures, because it does not look like that picture gotcha. in a telescope. You're, yeah, you're not going to be able to just look up and see that. So, okay, could we potentially see, speaking of bigger things and more, cooler things probably, the birth of a new star? Yeah, that's the one thing we're watching out for. There's something that's going to happen called a nova. It's a star that will brighten up uh, significantly from okay. naked eye brightness, you know, from beyond naked eye brightness to being able to be seen. Uh, it's a star called T Coronae Borealis in the mm. constellation Corona Borealis. Um, and it hasn't brightened up in decades, and it's expected to happen soon that's pretty now cool. soon uh who knows could be, <laughs> could be now till fall that's okay. the kind of window uh and so it, it's not going to be like dramatically like you know incredibly bright it's not going to you know uh, really light up the night but it'll be something to look for and uh so you don't have to be watching every night i'll do that and i'll tell you when it's when it's there uh, you go. So just, just watch his yeah, stuff just and I'll, watch, tell I'll tell you when it's bright <laughs> didn't there used to be a show called nova yeah that's I right yeah nova. i think oh, it yeah. might still be there i think yeah, yeah. um now there's a, a lot of talk about returning to the moon or the first manned moon or mission to Mars, uh, but NASA has another target, Saturn's moon? Yeah, yeah, Saturn is this amazing That's world. That's a hike. It is quite a distance. And so there's this new mission called Dragonfly that is going to send a kind of like a drone to uh, Titan. So Titan we had uh, visited back in the past with a lander called uh, Huygens. And so it landed on the surface of Titan. Titan's like this big moon with an atmosphere on it. Uh, and has some kind of similarities to maybe an early Earth, but it's not like we're expecting life to be there. Uh, but this mission's pretty exciting because it's gonna fly there and fly this drone around there. So it'll be able to like kind of go around the hills and valleys. And this is a moon that has lakes 
It has oh. tides. Uh, it has this really be neat, amazing uh, thick atmosphere. That? But the only problem is the lakes are not made of water. They're made of methane. Oh, oh so okay. No, uh, no skinny dipping don't, don't, for you guys. Say, do not go take a swim in <laughs> that. Right, that's Probably right. Probably not be a great idea. The, the idea of a drone up there reminds me, where do we have the little, the, the, the helicopter? Was that on Mars? That was on Mars. That's yeah. right. Yeah. The yeah. Uh, Ingenuity helicopter landed on Mars and flew, flew around dozens and dozens of times. And uh, that was a really great success because the idea was, could a drone actually work in an environment where there's low, low atmosphere like Mars? And so uh, it worked there and Titan should be even easier to, to fly there. Super cool. Super cool. Um, is there anything else before we, we gotta let you go, but is there anything else beyond the things that we've mentioned that you're really, really looking forward to coming up? Oh yeah, so uh, we've got a lunar eclipse in September. This is a very partial lunar eclipse. We're part of this uh, moon we blocked out. It'll be, I mean, if you saw a total solar eclipse, you know, you're going to be like, yawn. But it's going to be, <laughs> it's still pretty cool. Um, and then the big travel season for people who are thinking about summertime, uh, this is a good time to start planning your summer vacations and to uh, go to places where you can do some stargazing. So I'm going to be doing some talks around in the national parks this summer. Oh, awesome. Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon, and Joshua Tree are, are scheduled. Oh, so uh, I really awesome. want to encourage people to get out this summer and go visit the national parks. Come see me, uh, and I'll show you the stars out there, too. Get out in that dark sky. And people can find where you're going to be and all your information on your website, right? Yes, just go to astrodean.com and I actually have a class coming up about Grand Canyon and my time out there uh, being the astronomer. Awesome. Dean, we Astro always appreciate Dean. your time. Com. Hey, Thank my you. pleasure, guys. Thanks for, Thanks for having me for Space News. Space Anytime. Time. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.